Hello and welcome back to my channel. I really fancy going to Home Bargains. I haven't been to Home Bargains for a good old look round for absolutely ages. So I'm going to pop along there now and I've got a few things I need to buy from there. And also I think I'm going to go to either Asda or Lidl afterwards between there and home as well to just stock up on a few fresh bits. It's not raining yet. It's not raining yet, but there's been a few bits of rain in the air. Oh, curses. <laughs> anyway, I've got my trolley, which is out and I'm quite excited because basically you might have noticed in my last shop, I stocked up on some quite heavy items. Items, I got a home delivery so I don't need to buy anything really heavy or if I do spontaneously decide to buy some I can because I won't already be up to capacity in the trolley with you know tins and things anyway so excited let's proceed and wish me luck with the rain well I have arrived at home after bargain didn't get too wet just grabbing a trolley there's a reason I've gone for this one that's because that hook there because I've got my little trolley and I want to hook it up on it it's a nice high one actually I think it might be higher than some of the other ones there's one shot where it drags on the floor and that's no good but that's perfect it drizzled on and off so I'm okay I had my umbrella <laughs> oh look they've got scrubby things for the bath they've got a bit of a bath and body section going on here and do you know what some of these things remind me of my grandma do you remember being little and visiting grandparents and seeing some really quite old-fashioned looking things around the bath like big old back scrubbing brushes and a wooden thing to go across the middle and look these are quite old-fashioned aren't they they're 39 pence the nail brushes I never use a nail brush ever. I, I guess that's probably because I'm not a manual labourer and I don't really get dirty fingernails. The rammer sponges. Rammer or Raymer, how do you say that? I've only ever heard it rammer, but there's one M. Those are 169. They're lovely and soft, those are. These hair turbans are great for like swimming pool or going on holiday, things like that. Quite often I've dyed my hair before going on holiday and I don't want to use their towels on my hair, so this is a good solution, but I've got a dark grey one. Muslin facial cloth, 79p. It's very lightweight. Of course we've got all the star buys right in the entrance here look at that five pound 49 for 210 tea bags if they were decaf i'd add them to stock up but i don't drink a lot of caffeinated tea mini cheddars 265 for 14 packs my other ass not eating wheat my daughter's not here so i don't get them anymore at the moment anyway those are very knobbly bobbly bobbles look at those <laughs> doesn't have a price on it actually they look quite intriguing i like the texture of them i don't need any at the moment so i'll put those back oh 79p there we are They've got lateral flow tests there for COVID. Look, 5 99 for five. And what's that? Is that a smaller one? Oh, that's one test for £1.19. Still got a few masks and things, gel sachets. They've got all the summer holiday stuff in. I do need a bigger size luggage the next time I go on holiday. I'm not going to invest in that until I'm actually going on a long holiday. <laughs> but they've got some here. 29 says that ultra light. Yeah, it is quite light, isn't it? Because, of course, I mean, it eats into the weight allowance, doesn't it, the case? So that's another advantage of having a light one, other than it just being light. I like trip luggage, though. I'm so happy with my trip luggage that I've got that I would just get the next size up in that because I know it works for me. <laughs> They've got the shorty kids' wetsuits for £10, 3 to 4, 9 to 10. They've got quite a range, actually. I managed to forget my shopping list. I spent ages making it gradually throughout the week, noting things down so organized except not because i left it at home on the kitchen worktop i seem to be in the garden a bit at the moment you know i've been starting some seeds off at home i've been vlogging that on my other channel and uh yeah i've been kind of improvising with what i had in the house already but these aren't really that dear for 3.99 look you get a webs butterfly starter kit <laughs> you can grow all these different flowers that butterflies like and we need our butterflies and bees we need our pollinators very important so it's nice to encourage them what's this a little seed tray Oh, there we are, little individual pots. That's only 129. That's not bad, is it? These propagator covers. Yeah, I've been using cling film at home. <laughs> been a bit old school, I think. Windowsill propagator. Oh, that's great. That's what I could have done with because mine are hanging over the edge. God, you know, I'm tempted to grab a couple of those for the next lot because I like doing seeds. I like seeing them popping up. I keep me company in the house. <laughs> 199. Yeah, go on, I'm going to do it. Because I like growing herbs to just, you know put in the cooking and that keep them on the windowsill oh yay I mean I wouldn't keep them forever in this on the windowsill obviously have to upgrade to a bigger pot at some point marvellous well they certainly weren't on my missing shopping list that's a nice colourful selection of men's socks oh they're nice and soft they are ankle socks four pound look at that one two three four five less than a pound a pair don't quite need any of this stuff yet won't be long though being uh, after detergent again that's a very pretty spray bottle there there's a flora one 199 it's glass i think feels like it yeah it's looking very summer is coming ish in here right now i'm not sure if the weather agrees though 
now outdoor candles I can get behind because you don't risk burning your house down as long as you're careful not to you know have them in a tent or something oh a citronella it is oh yeah it did say on it it's very pretty actually it's 3.99 for something like that I like candles because they give a nice I don't know like a fiery flicker kind of makes a central focus for a group you know sitting around chatting or whatever or it's just got a calming effect but I'm a bit nervous about having them in the house because I love my house and I don't want it to burn down look at that great big thing it's a whole plank of candle 10.99 it's a long one a nice thing to have on the table though that's a candle as well oh look it's pretending to be a succulent that's quite a clever idea isn't it it says citronella as well. So you like things with a purpose. Keep those biting bugs away. There's a 2 dollars these ones. The 2 dollars for these. Collapsible bucket, only 2 dollars 10 litre, that would be very handy for camping, I think. I can't think of a good enough reason to get one right now, but I guarantee if I don't get it, I'll think, oh, I wish I got it at some point. <laughs> Oh, look at these picnic blankets. They look like little bags, but they're folding blankets and they're easy to carry. Look, 4 dollars I wonder what the pattern looks like. I wonder if it's just plain black, because you can't quite tell, can you? Yeah, I think it's just plain black. Oh, I can feel it with my hand. It's like a sort of waterproofy sort of plastic. Not plastic, it's not hard plastic. It's a nice pleasant plasticky feel. But you could put that side down on the damp grass, maybe, and sit on the nice softy bit. That might be a nice investment if you go to parks a lot and that sort of thing. I used to at one time. Oh yeah, I like these tumblers. Only $1.99. Oh, they're plastic. <laughs> I was expecting that to be a lot heavier. It's very pretty though. Yeah, I really like that. I don't need any for the house, but if I did, I'd probably get that. What's in the 21-piece picnic set, I wonder? $5.99. I was hoping that wasn't going to be booby-trapped and all fall out and land on my head then, but it wasn't. But I'm not buying it. I'm just having a look. Uh, so we got plates there. We've got cutlery, plastic red cutlery. I see spoons, knives and forks and some beakers as well. I'm going to put that back down. Please don't fall down. Please don't fall down on me. This has come off, look. That was already off though. Oh, hang on, I'll put the camera down and sort it out. Good old camping stove there, $14.99. I can't vouch for the brand. I think I had a Coleman's one once that was quite good. I think they do vary a bit from brand to brand. What else was I going to say? Oh yeah. Ice blocks. I'm going to mention the ice blocks. What I tend to do for ice blocks is use juice cartons, which I freeze, and then put them in the picnic basket and then have them as ice blocks. But then at the end of a long day, they're lovely and icy cold. They're all melted and then I just drink them so I don't have the weight of them to carry home. But if you do want ice block ice blocks, it's <laughs> a pack of two great big heavy ones there for 179 or some... Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, that's a three pack. No. Ah, the three pack was behind. There's the three pack. That's 149 pop that there so the next person can see. I'm looking at the notepads. This is a spiral bound A4 for 199. I thought, oh, squares, excellent. But I checked and it's not, it's just lined paper. <laughs> and that is, these look quite nice, don't they? They're 200 pages for 199. But is it perforated? Can you just, how do you get them out? Because if you want to put them on a ring binder, it could be a bit of a pain. Ooh, ooh, just about to wreck the memo board display. Nothing to see here. Look at that great big thing of Play-Doh there. That's absolutely massive. I don't see a price. Oh, there's a ton, as you might imagine, with all those different pots in there. I love the smell of Play-Doh, I must admit. And do you know, look, they've got 39p cards here. I wonder if they're blank or birthday. Blank, yeah. See, I quite like to have just plain blank cards in. I have got some, actually, so I don't need this. But then if somebody's got birthday, like, and you suddenly think, oh, no, I need a card, and just get it out and write happy birthday in, it, <laughs> in an emergency. I don't have that so much now that I haven't got a young child who kept having friends with birthdays with no warning. <laughs> so it's, it's all fine now. There's a nice long ruler there, 149 circle and scallop ruler. Oh, it's got little perforations in it, actually. I suppose that would be good for putting dots at regular intervals. Are they centimetres? It looks too big for a centimetre. Maybe I'm just losing the plot. Maybe inches, or am I going mad? This is the UK, surely that can't be in inches. Um, I think it is. I've spotted washi tape. This isn't it. <laughs> I was thinking, is that binker? No, it's absolutely not binker. Binker's that um, fabric with the big holes for teaching children embroidery, you know, when they, you first start them off. That's called binker. I think mine's all gone now, but I used to have it for my daughter. I spotted washi tape, as I was saying. 79p for five. Oh, they're, they're quite big rolls, actually. Five meter long. I do use a lot of washi tape. Oh, they got pretty stuff as well. Oh, I do have some at home, but honestly, I'm constantly using up my rolls because I do a bit of late night <laughs> crafty stuff with my diary, to be honest, my planner. I like, I like putting up the pages and then I feel like I'm taking great ownership of the day to come, you know, feel excited for it. It's a totally psychological, but it works. And if it works, I'm going with it. 
79p each so I'm gonna get two actually do I like that enough no I don't like that enough actually thinking about how that's gonna look on my pages no, I'm just gonna stop at the one the problem is my spiral bound planner slash diary is now so thick with stuck on things on the pages that it's looking very bulgy 6.99 for this mirror big selection of towels there with a range of prices 3.99 for this one it's a hand towel oh look at that I do need some more hand towels really but I mean I can do with what I've got it's not like I don't need them but some of them are really getting very tatty we got air beds there look 9.99 for a single cooling pillow cooling mat thingy well that says pillow and that says mat <laughs> it doesn't look very pillowy it says stay cool stay comfortable relieves pain and discomfort from injuries or heat specially designed cooling gel oh yeah ah oh, these take me back the terry toweling waterproof mattress protectors for those little accidents when the children are young <laughs> That's a double size, that one. Machine washable, 9.99. Yeah, they used to be worth their weight in gold. Actually, I had a really horrible one from Boots. It was all rough and scratchy. Those, the Tyree toweling ones are much nicer, in my opinion. Oh, it's gone quiet now. I had to spend about five attempts at that last one because people kept talking very loudly next to me. <laughs> they got sandwich toasters. Look, 16.99. They're the kind of shaped ones as well. Look, extra fancy. I've had my sandwich toaster for about 19 years now. It's still going strong. Oh, look at all these dog coats. Did we used to have these years? to go i don't remember them being so i don't know noticeable when i was a kid back in the day they waterproof hmm. oh, I, know, I wouldn't say it's warm maybe waterproof nice and warm they've got little harness leads for one pound 99 in here that's a large they've got those doggy drinky bottles there you know when you pour the water out of it for them to have a little lap from more mirrors i like having a magnifying mirror three times how close is that oh hi <laughs> say hello what's the other side just normal probably yeah anyway 3.99 it's not a bad price is it it's quite a tidy looking thing that's 4.99 cool. that's quite a, quite a magnifying one too scales there 8.99 for digital scales i've gone back to the old-fashioned scales to be honest with no batteries in but the thing is because i don't think they're very accurate the ones i've got because i don't know i'm quite a lot lighter on those ones than the digital ones but the battery doesn't keep going so that's nice right i better actually buy something hadn't i because so far all i've got is washi tape birthday card and some window propagators window sill propagators um i need cotton buds i remember that was on my list down to about two and i bought a load in portugal and i just literally had to leave them there i was so squashed for space in the case i was about to say i can't find cotton buds when i found cotton buds 75 pence pure cotton and paper sticks good that's what we want to hear in they go well the coast is clear now my daughter's gone back to uni so i am going to buy some nuts to have with my breakfast again one pound 69 for these however you want to pronounce them <laughs> pecans 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 however you want to call it chia seeds i've got some of those already at home have we got any brazil nuts i would like some brazils i don't see any this time oh i wanted a bit more than just those what's this under here sunflower seeds i've got plenty of those do you know i love sunflower seeds poured into the top of those little fruit yogurts just the cheap ones you know you get like eight for 89p and as to us we know that i just tip them up to the top of the Thing with just sunflower seeds and stir it in and I absolutely love that I've discovered that recently oh, they've got walnut halves here that's 169 for those I'm not gonna have them in the house because she's so allergic I just don't want to risk any residue or anything but she's not too bad with the others what have we got there cashews I don't like them okay I'll leave it at that then I definitely don't need to buy any chocolate at the moment because we still have leftovers from Easter I'm struggling because I really can't remember what was on my shopping list I do want to get some coca noodles though three for 120 it. Oh, this is my favourite. I'll just get the three. Oh, actually, no, these are a gift for somebody. <laughs> There's a whole wall of Reese's here just facing me. Goodness me. We've got five packs there for two pounds. Oh, yummy. Love this. I think I do anyway. Is it the same brand that I'm thinking of? I'm not sure. Tempted to get it to treat myself. Yeah, treat for going in. 
So no point in me getting anything frozen because I want to go via Asda on my way home and I'm not sure if they'll thaw out to be honest. It'll be a while before I'll get back. Oh, I literally can't remember what was on my list. I'm going to have to have a look when I get home and I'll be kicking myself I think. I've never noticed this before. Look, £2.49. There's a little cheese selection and to be fair that's a good weight I've got to be honest. Now I do need some fresh produce like chilled and veg and fruit and stuff but I might as well get that from Asda so I think I'm going to go pay for this couple of items <laughs> after all that's all I've ended up with and then I'm going to go to Asda right so let's put this trolley back and head over to Asda oops I noticed something about those propagators and I'll show you when I get home because I took them out of the packaging to sort of condense them down a bit put one inside the other you know I noticed something I hadn't noticed before Right, I better put the camera away. Well, I'm in Asda now, swapped shops, and look, this one drags on the floor, see, because it's just a little bit lower, and I didn't want to get a great big trolley. I think the big ones were a little bit higher, but oh well. I'm not in here for long, because I really literally only need a few bits. I want to make a curry tonight. Those are 95 pence. Aubergine goes lovely in one of my veggie curries with halloumi and lentils. So, because I've forgotten my shopping list, I'm not really thinking much past tonight's dinner. I'm going to get some broccoli to go in it. That's 79 pence for a lump like that. I've already got courgettes at home. I've got cabbage as well. I've got one mushroom, so I need more mushrooms. I'm trying to think what else I need. Oh, blinking egg. I know. Let's go to the reduced to clear section and see if there's any cheap veggies, and we'll start there. Well, there's mushrooms in there, but are they actually reduced? Doesn't, they're not marked down, look, so what's going on there? Unless somebody's about to come and do it. Sushi, 78p for a tiny little bit. Oh, it's vegetable as well. Fine tomatoes. They're not reduced. Celery's 41 pence. I do get through quite a lot of celery. That looks all right. Yeah, I'll have one of those. Peppers actually were on my list. Are these okay? No, they look all squished. In fact, everything in there looks a bit like it needs to go probably it's been set aside for that i've come in here really thirsty Yay. see those aren't reduced either i'll definitely have to buy a bottle of drink or something to walk back with okay nothing in there i'm gonna grab like two bananas because i've got some apples and oranges at home to eat and i don't want to just overload the fruit bowl if you know what i mean <laughs> i think at the moment it's no cheaper to buy loose peppers so i'm just gonna get the ones i like i'm gonna get two green ones i don't have my daughter at home it's just me and i like the green ones so i'm gonna get green ones and they can go in the curry later. I've just thought I could get spinach now she's gone. My trolley keeps trying to go sideways and I'm not sure if it's because that's dragging slightly or not, I don't know. Mushrooms anyway, 99p. I've already almost eaten the ones I got the other day. I'm hunting for spinach, is this it? Mild spinach. £1.25, yeah, that can go in the curry. Probably the whole lot, but it does not shrink down, doesn't it? I've been wandering around the aisles hoping to be reminded of what was on my list and I've just been reminded sliced cheese. These are two for £4.50 so I'm going to get one of those and one of Emmental I think. Other than that I think I just want to get a drink and, and go home really because I had a big shop come earlier in the week as you may remember. I'll link that at the end in case you didn't see it. Yogurt was on my list. I've just remembered because I've just been looking in the reduced to clear section. I suddenly remembered. Meat free sausages, the heck ones, chipolatas, £1.20 down from £2. So excellent. I love those. And the corn vegetarian sausage rolls ready to eat. £1.77 down from £2.95. So they make a handy snack. Oh, look at that nice empty aisle. Right, let's get some yogurt. Greek style. We've got the Onken set. I've been very much enjoying that. That's £2.50 for a big one like that. What about this? £1.60 for that. It's not as good though. I'm going to go for the Onken. Treat myself for my yummy breakfast with my nuts and golden syrup and fruit. Oh, yes. Hey, look, 95 pence. You can get a great big strawberry yogurt. Look at that. Not bad. Maybe sometime I should get that and have that with my sunflower seeds. My quest to buy a single can of drink has gone a bit awry. They're all very expensive. Um, but I've just remembered blueberries. I think these are 2 25 I've been meaning to get these for ages to go with my breakfasts, my yogurty breakfasts. Right, I'm going to go pay. I might get a drink from somewhere else. I'm back. I walked back as well. Still drizzled, but it was all right. Let me show you this thing from Home Bargains. Oh, it's well and truly wedged in. <laughs> as you can see I decided to take the wrapping off when I had paid for them and just sort of put one inside the other but I noticed when I was doing so that you know I was saying about putting cling film on it and I don't need to with these because they've actually got the propagator lid thingy so you can just turn that upside down and put it on marvellous so yeah that thing there 
so brilliant. Ta-da! Shopping list hadn't been that big in the first place. It had been things like curry ingredients would have been loads of stuff. I didn't need celery, but I did know that, but it'll get used. I've got a little bit left in the fridge, that's all, but I've got a lot now. <laughs> but it keeps, as long as you wrap it in foil. Uh, toilet roll, I forgot, and garlic, I forgot. So, not the end of the world. So how much did it all come to? Well, the Home Bargains lot came to £12.39, that was including the propagators, there was two of those, and the Asda shop came to £18.07, which comes to a grand total of £30.46. This is my second channel. I actually have a daily vlogging channel as well. Well, I do four a week over on that channel and one a week or two on this channel so grand total of five or six depending on how many shopping vlogs I put out. That one's called Planet Imo. I'll link it on the end screen and a video from it as well and also a playlist from this channel as well in case you'd like to watch more shopping vlogs. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!